The wheel is 264 feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. I bet you can see for 100 miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. Whatever pleases you the most. You please me the most. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> I think we've arrived. Isn't this grand? As advertised, very nice. Let's check in. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Try again? Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Uh -oh. Everyone must be busy elsewhere. I didn't even read There's that. no way to run a business. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. My sincere apologies. Oh. For both startling you and for making you wait. My attention was needed elsewhere. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please, sign in here. First time in Chicago, I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. <sighs> yes, today's the beginning of our honeymoon. Congratulations. In that case, an upgrade is in order. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, yeah, Mr. Chief. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect, then? Architect, designer, builder, Doctor, artist. Bet you lie. I'm a man of many interests. Impressive. Please have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. Yeah. Definitely don't want to trust this dude. The game is looking pretty dope so far. 
It's been a long time since I played a decision based game. Quite a bit rusty. Wow. Right. What did okay, I Okay, yeah, that, so that's the same. That's the same. Okay. Hold on, what was, what was that? Oh, pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm, <laughs> he sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Sounds insecure. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't no. you like to know? It's a really good looking game so far. Wonder what's in here. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. <sighs> Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel... I know you won't be denied. Wait... What's that? <gasps> Don't move. A little bit glitchy. In time... Oh, Lord. Oh, man. Okay. I gotta turn this controller vibration off. I don't like it. <laughs> that was a thrill. You won't think it's thrilling if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. Let's go. the hell bitch are you blind welcome newlyweds to the honeymoon suite <laughs> thank you kindly mr. Holmes do enjoy your stay if you'll excuse me I have work to return to I'm sure we'll see each other again soon Okay. <laughs> and they're just so this excited, place is like. Fit for a king. They're just not creeped out at all. Or That's my weird. queen. Oh, you. Kiss this. That is not very wifely of you. Hey! Ah, bullseye! You asked for it. Um, fuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Should I be frightened? If you're smart. What the hell? That shit is weird. Oh, shit, I did not see that. What the hell? Who am I? How about a peace offering? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Close your eyes and face the mirror. 
Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. <laughs> Is there a problem? No. Open your eye. Okay. Gave Jerry, uh, fuck. Jeff gave Mary the necklace he purchased from the jury, jury counter. Okay, chose to purchase the tin of powder. All right. I see. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. <laughs> Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. Oh, hell no. It's jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? Open sesame! <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. <laughs> don't you worry. Eighteen ninety three, god dang. Uh settle into the hotel, find a shaving kit. Find a shaving kit. Shouldn't they have that for us in our room? Like the hell? I'm just gonna look around the hotel for a shaving kit. Wow, I'm just opening random doors. What the hell? Um I press square. Better not. Yeah, yeah, I bet. Like, what, what the hell are we even doing out here? Then he walking so slow, you gotta speed up, Remy. Okay. Hmm. I could have sworn this was the way we came up. Okay, so am I going the wrong way? Like, what's up? Oh wow. Damn, straight like that. Marie! What kind of shit? What is this? Huh? Is that you, darling? Jeff? That's old buddy boy with the hat. Oh, are we playing another game? Uh, investigate, relax, investigate. Yeah, investigate. <laughs> okay, Mr. Sneaky. You can't sneak up on me, Mr. <laughs> 
Holmes. Hello, my What are dear. you doing in here? Jeff! I don't think he can quite hear you. Ah! Ah! Oh, shit. Get away from me! I'm not finished yet. I said get... Uh, can I fight back? Don't fight it. Will only hurt more if you do. What? What are you? What have you done? Calm yourself, sir. I've seen your wife has had an accident. Is there a problem, sir? Done. Damn, he done too. Marie! You're wasting your last chance to tell him that you love him. Place for everything, everything in its place. Well, look at this. Oh, it's wonderful. Only the best for you, my dear. Mother would simply die. It's so I say, opulent. good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel.
This oh. man look exactly the same. You're here. Have you been waiting long? Welcome to my repository, a vast collection of stories that are dark, frightening, horrific. I am the curator. <laughs> It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices, and sometimes, it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obols. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on... Uh, 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 and, uh, and, yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I... I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, had a great time. Really want to get back into some serious photography. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've been a key grip and lighting tech for years. See a problem, light it. I like how they use the same. Like Man, um, how do you even start? The same people for different characters. The same people as of, of the uh, previous games. Sorry, do you start with qualifications this, this, or um, uh, lady like looks personal new. info? Because I don't. I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series <clears throat> was so on track. It was. Uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and. Um, didn't quite uh, uh, hit the mark as I was hoping it would. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, your honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else and cover the ground with more cement cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung 
slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally, the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but as investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly, nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? This guy looks a little darker. To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. I'm trying to remember all the, the characters from the previous game. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking, Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. Mm. Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation <laughs> is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right, let's load up, guys. I got it. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? <laughs> I mean, this is that ring light that makes you all glowy. We leave it behind it. Right, you're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah. <laughs> Woohoo. Hooray. Great guys. <laughs> so do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises. You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka. Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was a hundred percent your fault. Because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Is may share information that can affect about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is gonna be great. You said that in Topeka. All right, off to a wonderful start. 
just trusting this random dude. We haven't even seen his face and we're just trusting his words. If this dude is so rich, shouldn't he have service or something? This guy gonna help? No, really, I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. And then he's driving off with their stuff. That's crazy. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There, from on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great, and we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. But we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. Shoot some footage from the top. I was, about, I was just about to say, didn't they just uh, take our phones? But but we get to keep a um, a whole ass camera though. I'm a little confused. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Okay, yeah, I know that. Some really good graphics. Okay, you can jump. Jesus, that is loud. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, so much for plan A. We must be able to work our way around. Doesn't look too serious. The warning about everything mm, falling. Anything for the okay. shot, right? May collapse into nah, deep water. This sign is something the lawyers may yeah, be pushed up. I'm sure it's fine. Hard disagree. <clears throat> okay. Surprise it's not night time. Can I jump across that or no? Okay. the other guy wasn't somebody just with me uh -huh, okay yeah I don't know where the other guy just went I could be tripping though. I don't know maybe he went, went another way <clears throat> oh there he is what the hell Toggle your flashlight. Aim. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What kind of flashlight is this? That shit weak. Bitch. That's a damn lighter. Hey, can I, can I jump? If I'd like to take oh. a couple weeks off, go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that discerning eye of yours, you know. I got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Sure. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post on that. You should do the same. Take some time out. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh, well. No, Mrs. Lonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. 
married to the job. <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. <laughs> married to the job. Don't fall. Almost got me. Holy shit. Well, the hell is that thing? A dummy. Dummy? Well, yeah, but what is it doing here? Taking a vacation. Ha ha ha. I don't know why he chose white tennis shoes for this trip, like my boy. Oh, you about to fall off the fucking thing. All right, why are we climbing up a mountain? Like, what the hell? We're not even dressed for this. What my boy, what kind of shoes he got on? Or me? Do I got on dress shoes? What the freak type of shoes at all? Like, we are not properly dressed for all this rock climbing. Like, bro, what are we doing out here? And this man, damn sure, don't look like he need to be climbing on damn mountains. Shoot some footage from the top of the lighthouse. Okay, I forgot about that. But why, though? Bitch, you got the camera. Bro, I'm so lost, man. Hold on. Alright, so now, am I supposed to be pulling something out or top of the lighthouse? I'm tripping. Locked tight. Come on. There must be another way. You sure? No. I'm optimistic. Okay. Can we just climb the gate? We done climb up a whole freaking mountain. Pretty sure we can hop a gate. Um, alright, so what do I gotta do? Bro, if you don't climb down these damn steps. What the hell? Why was he looking like that? Uh huh, yeah. See if I can't find some hidden things over here. Just look like the perfect spot to hide something. Is that can use his tie clip to open wow tie clip what's that just some old coin okay find the penny pick it up cool cool not sure if I was supposed to find that or not look sorry I give you a hard time now and again but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. That's not how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it.
<clears throat> uh, can I open it? All right. Um, so we gotta find another way in. Okay, up there. Can I push this? Climb. I don't want to climb it. Well, I guess you can probably try to jump, maybe. Nope. Okay. Um, can you push the trash can? Bro, what are you doing? Oh my god, bro. This game pissed me off already. So you can't push this? Why well, is my only option to climb it? Like, bro, this ain't making sense. Can I just jump up there? I gotta take footage from the top of the lighthouse, right? Okay. So the door is long. I don't know why this guy just standing there like an idiot. Alright, so I'm gonna go around back. Okay. Well, um. What the hell am I supposed to be doing, bro? And I can't, like, go through those bushes. It won't let me, let me go over there. Okay, yeah, this is starting to piss me off already. Mm -hmm. Okay, alright, so. Alright, so we already tried the door, right? We tried the door. Open. It won't open, it's locked. This guy is just standing here, not being helpful at all. Um, hmm. We clearly have a trash can right here, bro. Can easily push this thing over there. Okay, wow, now it wants to give me the option to push it. That's wow. Bro, give me the option again, please. Are you joking right now? It did say square to push, though. Let me try square. There we go. Wow, bro. What the hell? I just... I just pressed square, bro. Okay, yeah, this game is something else. So I gotta stand at the corner, maybe? Okay, wow. Wow, this game is something else, bro. That was so stupid. Christ, what the hell is that? Oh, uh, what the hell? Nice to meet you too. Crew members won't be spotted when hiding. Um, what the hell? Okay, he's not high no more. Okay. What the? Bro, I'm so lost, bro. Who the hell is breathing so damn hard? Is that my character? Nope. It's not him either. Bro, who is breathing so hard?
What in God's name is this? Uh, leave it alone. Just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes, and six gallons of sanitary. Tea. This. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, oh, wow. There's all right. Come on, we better get back. This game is a little glitchy. I don't know. We just had the one call. How, how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Dumet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Erin, Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing Mark, all Aaron, it is you have Jamie, to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that? Um... Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. Let's get up to the hotel. Uh, please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe. But we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt. So please, take care. <laughs> Looks like things are buttoned up tight around here. God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. Uh, try not to cough up uh, white what not dress for a hike. Yeah, sure I'm Not exactly dressed for a hike. Mr. Dumet. It's just a short walk. It won't take long Anxious. You're right. He takes his security very seriously I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out Jamie just saying you watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, OK? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dumet. Discretion is Lonnet Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. Okay, let's go for a take then. 
Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. Rolling. Speed. And action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. Okay, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas. This way. You'll steal some more shots, right? Obviously. I noticed. I want you to get a look around without him knowing. A man is entitled to his privacy. He's cagey. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? Ah, oh, ow! Oh, oh my, damn it! What happened? You okay? Oh. Did you trip up your ego again? We should get her up to the hotel. Oh, my God, I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up? Bliss. Bliss Glendale. from that, uh... Um... Oh, right. What's, that? Okay. What's the name we'll of it? We'll find some ice and abandon it and come back. Oh, you shit. have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. Oh, my God. I cannot remember the what name of the on? game. Come on. I'll clue you in later. Been taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because? I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. Manchurian gold. I, for, I forget the name. Um, Man of Medan. Man, Man of Medan, that's what it was. Yeah, Fliss, though. She don't look as good on this game as she did the other one. Okay, so I'm this other chick. All right, uh, let's see here. I think I'm gonna stop the video and come back to another video um, after this one. So, let's go ahead and end it here.